Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Krishnan K. And in today's session on Let's Learn MRI Findings, we will be discussing about disc desiccation. What is disc desiccation? It's a very common degenerative change that affects the intervertebral disc. And in simple terms, we can say that the disc desiccation is otherwise known as disc dehydration. So the term dehydration is very commonly used and uh, you can identify what is happening in the case of desiccation. Let's see what is an intervertebral disc. So here in this diagrammatic representation, you can clearly see the vertebrae which are stacked upon one another and they are separated by a small disc that is called as the intervertebral disc. And here in this representation, you can see the yellow color spinal nerve roots that are coming out through the intervertebral foramen as well. So this particular intervertebral disc facilitates the flexion and extension movements of the vertebral column. Now let's discuss what is disc desiccation or disc dehydration with the help of an MRI. Here we have two MRI scan reports where you can actually assess the actual degeneration what is happening in the discs. For that we should know the normal MRI first. So here in this left one we can see the normal MRI where you can clearly demarcate the vertebral bodies. So the ones which are I am touching right now they are the vertebral bodies. And between the vertebral bodies you can see a lighter colored vertebra in the vertebral discs and they are the ones that are getting dehydrated in case of disc desiccation and behind what you see here exactly is the spinal canal and here more clearly you can see the spinal cord the end point of the spinal cord and on the right side we have a clear MRI report suggesting the dehydration of L4 L5 in the vertebral disc and L5 S1 in the vertebral disc so you can clearly see the difference here where this is the actual hydrated disc and when it comes to the L4 L5 in the vertebral disc you can see that it has become more dark in color and you can see the even the width has decreased a bit and this creates the dehydration of the intervertebral disc and in turn causes the spinal nerve root compression as well as degenerative easy degenerative changes in the adjacent vertebrae. So this is the actual disc desiccation or disc dehydration. So clearly once again I'll repeat here you can see the normal intervertebral discs and on the other hand you can see the dehydrated disc and this is the reason for the disc desiccation where the intervertebral disc gets dehydrated and will get shrunken. And let's see the signs and symptoms. What might be the signs and symptoms? When there is a disc desiccation associated with that there will be pain, there will be like numbness and there will be radiating pain also sometimes to the area affected. And the previous MRI that we have seen is an imaging of a 37 year old man presenting with the chronic low back pain and a severe disc degeneration or disc desiccation happening at the level of L4 L5 and L5 S1 as mentioned previously. Here you can see the disc at the level of L4 L5 is dehydrated and L5 S1 also dehydrated and that in turn causes the low back pain and numbness radiating to the legs. So if you have any further radiological queries, please do post them as the comments and that will be answered soon through the pro-anatomy sessions. Thank you.